see what this is. It's a hilarious drawing that I did a year ago. And we were supposed to write stuff, but I draw. So I drew, this is, this is supposed to be me. I drew a little cartoon me at, it's backwards, at Jazzercise. And at the gym. And on the side, hashtag beast mode. Because I was so fitness driven. And the goal was to put it on a sticky, to put it somewhere where you'd look at it all the time. Um, so I put it on my computer monitor. So it's right here on this thing right here. Uh, and it's just been sitting there. It's just been sitting there. And it didn't inspire me. It didn't re-motivate me or anything. I've completely lost that side of myself. And that's why we're doing this. We're doing fun videos. We're gonna start talking. I'm really talking. Me. Me. That had collarbones. See, they're in there. But I had collarbones like a year ago. In 2014, I got married. And my biggest goal was the wedding prior to that. Focused all of my energy on two Weight Watchers and into fitness and having a completely fitness oriented Instagram, which I still do, still do that. I've kept that going when I post. Um, after the wedding, and it's hilarious because this is what I just keep blaming, um, the baker sent home the rest of the wedding cake with us and we had like a ridiculous like two sheet cake boxes full of leftover cake uh, for the next slide. Oh, and then instead of doing a honeymoon, we did a staycation. And for a week straight, we just binged, ate everything, didn't move off the couch really, just completely like didn't give a fuck about anything. Um, so between that and the two sheet cake boxes full of cake that I ate mostly for that week and then the week after. It was fun. Is that bad? That's horrible to say as a weight loss person. It was fun to not give a fuck. Still was on Weight Watchers. I still went to my weekly weigh-ins. I may have missed a few. Um, I was gaining, like, like hardcore gaining, which I don't know if I mentioned that before the wedding. It was a while before the wedding, actually. In December of 2013, um, I hit my lowest weight and I was down 90 pounds. I had lost 90 pounds. Ninety pounds lost. I was feeling awesome. I was like rocking some shit. I was like buying clothes. Then Christmas. Christmas is hard. Um, my birthday is in January. I always blow it. Like, I celebrate my birthday for like a straight month. Um, 
that was hard. February was Valentine's Day. We eat. Uh, plus a lot of family birthdays in February. And then I was like full on wedding and planning mode. The wedding was in June. Um, I looked fantastic. I did. I still looked really good. I had a dress that needed exchanged sizes like 30 times. That I just was like, whoa, we're having a great time. We can do whatever the hell we want. It don't matter. None of this matters. You know that thing where you get up in the morning and you try on at least like three different pair of jeans? At least three. Because none of them really fit. I wasn't doing that. That had stopped. Go back to back. Go back to like stomped out jeans on the floor. That's what I do. Try them on. My mushroom top is ridiculous. I take them off and I leave them in a pile on the floor. And pick up another pair that I think are going to be bigger. Because I did have huge pants. I mean, I had like my beginning pants. I didn't gain all ninety pounds back. Let's let's get that straight right now. I want to get back. I want to get back to it. It's just work. It's work and it's hard. It's really hard. Oh, it was worth it. Just me telling you. God, you look fantastic. I can't believe you do it. Like it was like I found the match for you. No. No, I did I I'd be the first to tell you. That there is no match for you. There's not. No real. No secret. No secrets. Because I've tried them all. That'll be a whole other video of failed clip fixes. That's what I'll call it. I love them. They're bad. Like I have like a food addiction. And I've researched a lot about food addiction. 100% um, believe in it. 100% believe that I have it. That I'm a victim of food addiction. Um, not really committing to the treatment of food addiction, which is basically like abstinence from sugar, uh, processed food, which I'm like a sucker for. Eating like clean, like whole 30 red meat, like chicken. Organic, grass-fed, never caged, no shots, sort of chicken. Uh. Well, you just cut back on with like your Starbucks and stuff. You can afford it. You can start and I'll try and make videos. I'll try and make videos and just talk through some things. Just talk about our. And I just want to talk about how hard it is. I want other people to be like, you're right. It's really hard. It's really hard. And it sucks. And you kind of just have to like center your entire life around it. And that also sucks. It also sucks. Third day. Third day. Um, and when people are like, hey, we're going to like the pizza buffet. Let's go. You should be like, mm, no. No, I can't. I can't do that. Because that's when like I lose my mind. Because when it's in front of me, all bets are off. All bets are off. Nothing, nothing means anything. 
I do not care about a muffin top. I don't care about pants. I don't care about the fact that I can't work out as well as I used to. I don't, I don't care about any of that. I don't care. Then when I eat it, Honeymoon in August. It's now March. 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 April. May. It's not a whole lot of time. It's not a whole lot of time. And we're going to like Mexico. I told myself that I need, needed a end in sight, a goal. A deadline, not really a deadline. I don't like deadlines. A motive. I told myself it was a motive. Motive. Because the wedding was the motive. When the wedding came and went, and there was the motive. Now, I knew about this in like 2015, like January 1st. January 1st, and I gave it hell. January 1st, the week. Gave it hell. Um, come on, I get my Weight Watcher book grips. They say that. Gave it hell. Wait, watch a week. First week. 2015. Starting it off with a bang. I'm back. I'm back into it. I'm doing it. I'm rocking it. And I gained. I gained like 0. 0.6 or something stupid. But it was just enough to like mentally break me, basically. And the next week, I was like, eh. I'll try. I'll try. February, started off trying again. I was like, okay, you know what? If we do five pounds a month, five pounds a month. Anyone, anyone can do that. That's less than a pound a week. Healthy weight loss is like a pound or two pounds a week. Five pounds a month. That's not less than a pound. Four. I don't know. It's a pound something. Uh... February started strong, and I think I lost. First week of February. And gave up again. It's sick. It's a sick problem that I have right now. Because I know it works. Just like everybody else says. Just like the fucking commercials say. It works. It does work. It does. Uh, if you do it. If you do it. You buy all the shit, and download all the apps, and buy all the groceries, and plan your week, plan what you're going to have, plan all this stuff, have your little chart, your little tracker, or with your phone, you have your tracker, and all the stuff. And then you meet Chinese with coworkers for lunch, um, and you come home, and your husband makes a vat of mac and cheese and boneless wings and throws a little toastino pizza rolls, and that's all he makes, and it's convenient, and it's already made, and it smells amazing, and you eat that. And not your groceries, and you don't bother with packaging, and you don't bother calculating the points plus value, uh, and you don't portion with your little measuring cup, your little half cup mac and cheese on your plate, for like five points or something, uh, and your little bonus wings that you count. You don't do all that. And you will gain weight. So I have talked for a long time. Are we supposed to do the first video? Where I'm just talking. Like, what are you guys going to see? I shouldn't ask you that. I don't have followers yet. I don't have, like, fans. I don't have, like, a fan club yet. Um, I have some ideas of what we're going to talk about. This, this, this. I did work out. I did work out today. I went to my jazzercise class. I burned 500 
calories. Then I came home and I ate like homemade pizzas on flatbread. So not just one, like three. And broccoli. The cheese on. It's nasty little thing. Mm -hmm. Ten crackers. It's a serving. I think they're like three points for ten crackers. Well, workout was good today. Uh, food was a fail. Um, it was good till I got home. Then when I walk in the door, I lose my shit. I lose my shit. Like, what can I shovel? We're gonna work on all of it. We're gonna work on life together. Me and you. You and me. And we're gonna try to get ready for Mexico and life. I mean, Mexico shouldn't just be the only motive. It should be life. Life should be motivating enough. Pants that fit should be motivating enough. Not claiming that everything was shrunk in the dryer should be motivating enough. Um, it's not, it's not working. That's it. I'm out. No, I don't, I don't think so. I don't know. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just stop. That's just right.